Okay, Daniel Jackaroo, and today I'm think of wiring, thinking of wiring up a temporary sub. Um, so, just taking off that, the panels, okay, off the floor, just here, folding my seat up. Uh, there's my storage thing I was talking about. And um, so, just going to run wires to the back. And what I'm thinking of using is uh, one of my DBXIs and um, the box that the DD used to be in, in the, in the Liberty, I've still got that one up there. So I've pulled up the carpet in the back here. I'm just looking for a plug or something like that. There's heaps of good ground spots. There's all these little the bolts around the place. Um, not those ones, but in the floor, which I can use for that. I found three jelly beans. Mmm. I'll take them off the side here, and I have found a glory hole. <laughs> four fingers in there. So there's where two runs of zero gauge will come through. So that's the hole I'm using. Uh, there. Here comes the plug. Just about there, which I've cut. I guess I fit the zero gauge under there pretty easily. As you can see, that's the only bit I can't cover up. And I, uh, I wouldn't, it wouldn't mean worse, but I cut a little hole in the side there. Otherwise, I would have had to come all the way up this carpet and over the wheel arch. So it looks better. Uh, as far as in the boot goes, it just runs in. And it's so long, rather than cut it and have it there, I'll just put the battery over this side. Down there, get zip tied to the mud flap there, which then follows in here. And the wheel arch there, and I've got a little hole just there that I can use to have it shoved there, and that's about it. I can't get it up in here, in like up in there, because there's fucking nothing up there to to use. You know what I mean? I can kind of tuck it there, but I won't be able to hide it there. It sucks. There's my fuse, and there's the wire there, and then there's. I'm going to be buying an order of stuff from Sonic Electronics in the next few weeks and that should be here by the end of next month and um, that's when I plan to uh, install properly I'll build the box before then I will be building the box next month but when all that stuff gets here I want to have everything built and everything but um, so for the next yeah three four weeks I don't want to have nothing I want some kind of base so that's why I'm hooking this up the head unit out so I'm just about to hook up the remote wire I've hooked up the reverse parking brake sensor so I can play DVDs. I've hooked that up to the ground, as someone said. I was going to hook it up to the um, to the ignition, the yellow wire, but the ground's the same thing, I guess. So, um, uh, yeah. Anyway, so that's hooked up now. And yes, I've already tested it. It'll play movies, and I'll show that in a minute. First movie. Picture is actually pretty good, considering. Yes, it's gonna look like that. Just a piece of wood shoved in there, because uh, that's the only length wires I had. I wasn't gonna go and waste zero gauge to make this. And then there's the box sitting there. It's all kind of crammed into itself. Um, I'll probably put just a piece of wood like screwed there so this thing doesn't slide forward more than that. And really, that should do. <laughs> There's fuses everywhere, there's a fuse there, fuse in the front, it's two big 300 amp fuses. Um, I can still shut it with the uh, fusion alien there. Yep. It's hard because the sub sounds good, but it's got the stock speakers in the doors, so I can't turn it up very loud, otherwise it sounds terrible. Okay, there's the wires. Just ran through the plastic underneath and everything. I was tied them together every about a foot. Okay, 